So this is the proper VL Churchill tool. This is the proper tool for the job. Um, slides where the shock absorber should be. Like that, inside there. And uh, you're able to screw it up and then unbolt it. So what I have done so far is I have let's get that lamp out of the way because he's that's better. Um, I've removed the relays from both sides, remove the steering gear that would be here uh, in preparation. Um, pretty manky. Um, to start clearing up the area inside. So it's pretty rusty, tidy up some of the welds. Um, this lot's all got to come off because of Look, hole, pretty big hole, considering they're really thick as well. I know someone part this in the sea or something, or other. I've got no idea, but um, someone's cut the chassis and weld a new bit in there. I've um, also got to do the anti-roll bar or sway bar, whatever you want to call it. That's that pretty perished as well. So getting those off would be interesting. Um, but yeah, this is the... I've got to take the damper out, which is easier than said than done because they've been in there for a long time. And by the looks of this vehicle, everything's been on it a long time. Not even split pins have been coming out. They've had to be uh, whelped on, let's say, to get out, get the uh, nuts off. Um, but we shall see how we progress. A few things that need changing. Um, but yeah, so this will all be cleaned up at the same time. Do one side at a time. The body's not too bad, it's a bit grotty in places, but um, we'll get there. So I'll give you an update next time.